guys, Autogamers here with another video and today we are playing Life is Strange Before the Storm episode 2 once again. I think this is going to be the final part slash bit slash anything. How are you guys doing today? That is still a stupid question. And right now we were sneaking into Rachel's house with Rachel to get shit to get out of this place basically. To get out of Arcadia Bay. Let's see how that's gonna go. Oh my goodness, they have a nice house. Okay. Wow. Oh, you're home. Hey. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Uh huh, that's gonna be great. Our star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? It is. Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, honey. You were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Resplendent? You must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you've both acted up quite the appetite. Hmm. Not hungry. Yeah. No thanks. I, I kind uh, of would have liked that, I'm sure. King kind of gal. She's funny, this one. I'm aware. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, <laughs> Of course. Yay! We can have dinner. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Lily? Sure thing, Mrs. Amber. Yeah, sure. I'll help. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Totally. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. And Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know, that I would normally say. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Quality time with the oh, hey, Steph. I heard you were in the Tempest. Yeah, it was kind of a big deal. I believe it. Everyone says. The show was awesome. We get medals for two good deeds today. Drew's okay. Mikey will text you and update in a bit. Oh shit. Tell them both I'm pulling for them. That's good. That's good. Gambers. What could possibly go wrong? Nice awards. Not even gonna look at that. Hey, let's speak to you. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe. What can I do for you? The play. Let's talk about the play. Think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just meant the wizard part. Uh, I suppose that's also true. Not quite sure what to answer to that. You seem kind of strange. So. You're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. <laughs> I can call you if I'm ever district arrested. Oh, what would you be arrested for? It was a joke. Not a good one, clearly. Well, no, I'm not even gonna talk Duty to you for calls. that. <laughs> good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm hmm. Oh, he's grumpy. He's very, very grumpy. Oh my, I'm not gonna use that. They're gonna see me. That's rude. Look at 
Look at the file. Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew. I know I did the right thing, giving Drew his money back. Man. Damon Drew Francis Powers. Rodney Thunder says, hey. That was the god at the mill, and then we have Sheldon Pike and Peter Gillespie who attacked us, and then we have Sarah. Oh no, I don't want to be involved with this. This is silly. We're right in the house of the person that we nearly got issues with because of everything that happened. That feels very silly. Oh my goodness, so many nice glasses. I collect glasses like that, so. Nice to see something like that in a game. Grandfather's clock. <laughs> that, that's a way to say it. Oh, sure. Oh, the family photo. Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, let's see. Double sync while wow, quickie. Uh, let's speak to you. Oh, crossword puzzle. Can I make that thing? Please improve. Literal. I don't know. Oh, it was improved, but to be sarcastic. I felt we were literally going to do a crossword puzzle. I would have liked that as a mini game, to be honest. Solved it. You jerk! You are an absolute jerk. There's no puzzle to which swords isn't the solution. You are a jerk. Chloe, you're a jerk. You're such a jerk. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. Setting the table? So, you putting me to work or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could. Never mind. These people do not like jokes very much. Riot, Chloe. <laughs> All right, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. Okay, open. That's the glasses door, the glasses. though. Glasses. Damn. The ambers are fancy as shit. They do look very good. They're kind of green though. I don't need glasses, I need plates. Pretty sure the plates are here as well. Never realized that getting drunk could be so complicated. I thought, these are definitely plates. What, what? Can I close you again? I'm gonna get in trouble for not closing that, but I can't close it. The plates are gonna be in the thing here, are they? Yeah, definitely. No yep. Skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. Oh, hey, we got a text from Mikey. Stuff says you're a nerd. Hey, Chloe. Do a out of surgery in pain, but he's okay. Holy shit, Mike. I'm so, so sorry. It's okay. You stuck with me. Plus, you saved the money. We owe you. Wish you could have helped more. Hey, Steph says you run the play. What? Oh, I've had a busy day. Most heroes do. I guess in a way we became a hero, just like Max. It's off to the table with you. Typical. I also close the door, uh, the cupboard doors with my head a lot, usually. Let's see, do I want to talk to you more or just set the table? Yes, Chloe? Um. These plates? These the uh, plates? Yes, place them on the table, please. It's that table shaped object over there. <laughs> this is Amber dropping bombs. <laughs> okay, she does have some humor. It's just a bit different from Chloe's. We may have just gotten four plates. Oh yeah, there was uh, four people. Oh hey, we can talk to someone about something. Hey mom, Chloe, Justin Williams' mom just called me. Were you in the play tonight? I would have liked to see that. It's kind of just happened. I know it was last minute. I'm glad you're doing well. It would be nice to see you tonight. Are you coming home? Please, Chloe, I miss you. 
Well, that's kind of sad. Oh my goodness, something tells me that might not happen. Oh, I can talk to you now? Yes, Chloe? What next? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? Yeah, sure. I will be a dear. Talking the James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Okay, hello! Drink! Yes! That's your vice, Mr. Amber. I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. You're quite silly. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Oh, fuck. Ooh, that's going to be... Oh, my goodness. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna try to... Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. <laughs> it seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. And you were all too eager to play into our expectations. In my experience, that's a tactic people use to cover for someone else. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. Interesting. I if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, thanks. That was a very, very, very interesting conversation. I should stay down here until Rachel is ready. Yeah, sure. Okay. That was an interesting conversation to say the very least. Oh my. News article. Uh, I'm not gonna look at that. DA James Amber yes. cracks down on dr drug. Cracks down on drugs. That's silly. Sherry. The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. Yeah, definitely. Oh my goodness, Chloe, you are silly and possibly kind of stupid. Uh, it's the triangle shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Oh, come on, I knew that. Which plate is gonna be his? Well, he's gonna be that one. Yeah, definitely, I guess that. Because he's the man of the house, he's gonna sit on the... You shit, Chloe! You absolute dipshit! <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so horrible. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, thank you. There you go. Yes, Chloe? Anything more? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the... It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I think. You may have said I something strange there. Some candles and bust this joint up a bit. Hmm. Okay, so I have to light the candles. Let's try to not burn the place down. 
All three in one go, that's nice. And fire. What could possibly go wrong? A whole lot. Holy shit. I hope it tastes good. I'm kind of hungry right now. <laughs> so, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Not anymore. Not since this morning. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. No. That's cool. <sighs> We're not. What about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. She's on to us. Fire spreads so fast. I've never heard of anything like it. It's strange. It's almost surreal. They say a fire like that could only come from a crime of passion. Passion? What does that mean? I don't know. You tell me. Ooh. Oh, Burns! You're the DA, of course. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. Hmm, <laughs> sure. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. <laughs> Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Um... Ooh, I'm not gonna do the back talk this time. Uh, yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Interesting. Interesting no, indeed. Indoors, however, I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blow me. Rachel. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna explain. Uh, uh, that's just a little inside joke we have together. Uh, oh yeah. shit, that's- No, that's horrible! Chloe, stop. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite. Okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you. Yesterday, at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard. No to... way! Think we saw? Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is... She and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of me. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl oh. in home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue. Is this going to go all wrong? Oh shit. Rachel, you might want to speak up for once.
And everything is on fire. For one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. What? The actual fuck? What? What? No! finish line and if you're still breathing you're the lucky ones because most of us are heaving through corrupted lungs setting fire to our insides for fun collecting names of this one this game really pushes your choices in your face well, a lot more than the first game did. Sam and Nathan. And if you're in love, then you are the lucky one. Because most of us are bitter. That makes me happy. Setting fire to our insides for fun. To distract our hearts from ever missing love. Wow. Okay, if I had no last time it was so close to ending, I would have made that one whole thing, but... Oh, well. I guess that was it. Wow. That just turned a lot different from what I expected this to go in. I'm gonna skip this. And look at my choices for a second. You took the blame for Rachel. Yeah, I did. 81%. I emptied my pockets at David's request. 62%. I did stay with Mikey. 67%. Thank goodness. And I did ask Rachel for a kiss. How couldn't I have with the last game that was hap that happened? Let's look at the smaller chances. Uh, rather, choices, I mean. Pretty sure I took the majority in most most of these, at least. I didn't talk to Elliot about the play. Sorry. I agreed to start off with David. Oh boy. I did put the singing man on the dashboard of the truck. Of course I did. I did not pay off my debt to Frank. 2% of people, only 2% of people did. Wow. I didn't tell Steph that Rachel was single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did return Drew's money to him. 32%. That's one of the few things I didn't have a majority on. I told Samantha to help Nathan. I'm glad I did. I'm very glad I did. I did confront Victoria before the play. I'm glad I did as well. I could have tricked Victoria before the play as well. That would have been interesting. Hmm. 
Interesting. I wonder what ha would have happened if we did the other things here. You told Rachel you'd like to go on a road trip. Well, yeah, not the majority. Probably most people chose Los Angeles because that's what the first game would say, but... I found the road trip more interesting. I would kind of like to see something in that direction, to be honest. And Rachel did attack James at dinner. Oh, we could it would have been a choice between me attacking James and Rachel attacking James at dinner. So, Rachel did that. Well, that's somewhat interesting, I'd say. Except that. Let's see the preview, maybe. Shit. Shit. Ooh, we got the car working. That is a strange start. Episode 3, Hell is Empty, will be coming up next time. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode so far. This episode, well, not so far. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of the game. And I hope to see you guys back next time. I really think the story is getting quite interesting. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!